Alrighty. I'm at Fort Braden Trails. It's actually a pretty cool area. Um, uh, but yeah, it's uh, has these deep ravines and creek beds. And if you want a place where you can kind of get out and kind of feel like you're <laughs> in hilly terrain, um, this is definitely a cool area. Uh, most of the places I love are definitely Fort Braden, Terea, Mariana Caverns, and Bear Creek Education Center if you're ever around Tallahassee. But um, I come to you today because life has uh, taught me some hard lessons. <laughs> um, um, but yes, life can be going through the woods and trying to find obstacles like roots and other things. And I mean, this is very much <laughs> like life. There's roots and stuff that can trip you up. There's hazardous branches that could be in the way, like that guy. Um, but as long as you know how to handle them, uh, you can step over them or go around them and keep going. Um, but God put it on my heart to share about mumbling uh, and grumbling, which is what the Israelites did when they were um, in the desert <laughs> and even though they were technically I think they were technically speaking saved um, but they were mumbling and grumbling and doing things wrong against God and so he he denied them the entry into the promised land if they would have kept going and not said anything, he would have blessed them with an amazing land. Um, but they decided to grumble and stumble and everything else. Um, but yes, life has many different paths. Here's one that I have to take right now. And there's, it's marked by orange and purple symbol, pinkish purple symbols. One thing, the purple pink is uh, for horses and orange is for hiking. Although <laughs> I've seen horses go on it too. Um, but this, the mumbling thing is definitely something that came up in my life. Um, God puts challenges in our lives um, trying to get us ready for the next obstacle. Um, if he wouldn't have done what he's doing to me now a long time ago, I would have collapsed and probably have not done the right thing and gone the other way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, south instead of north. In other words, down there. Um, but, um, <clears throat> but, God, in a lot of ways, has to test us, because if you think about it, think about what the angels did to God. A third of them left with the devil, um, and went, and had to, and went south. So, then God, when he made Adam and Eve, they were in the garden, um, I don't know how long, but they were definitely in, in there more than a day, um, but how long we don't really know but I'm led to believe that it was a lot longer than we think <clears throat> so but God is trying to test us he wants to put things in our past to see how we will react put things like sexual things or drugs and these all these other things it's like and we look at it and go why why is this happening to me and God wants us, he wants to see what our reaction will be. Sometimes we fail miserably and do the wrong thing. And other times we are successful and, um, and keep going. Um, and then there's other times in life where he puts obstacles in your path and you're begging and pleading for it to stop. Like I'm in a situation now 
where I am living in one room of the big house. Um, and things are not going my way and I'm frustrated beyond belief and I'm highly independent by nature. I like my own space. I like to do my own thing and um, I'm being impeded on every side. Um, so that's not cool. Um, and then I have a job that I thought would go really well and a job that I thought that, hey, this is a job that I will love and be with and come to find out there's a lot of challenges with it and it's challenged me every day to say and do the right thing and to not snap. There's been many times when I've uh, <clears throat> I thought why 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 am I here? Why am I still in this job? And the flip side of it is I've I've been in many times where I did not have a job, did not have a place to stay. And and if you think about it, I mean, God doesn't do anything without knowing exactly the outcome. <clears throat> he knows everything we'll do. He knows how we'll react even before it happens. <clears throat> but God still allows it to happen because we're getting stuff out of it. We're learning how to be patient and long-suffering, like it says in the Bible. We're learning how to... Um, to abide in him and to trust him no matter what surroundings we're in. Um, I mean, you could be like walking through this type of forest, not knowing which way to go. and um, But God says that he'll lead you and guide you. And it's just like this trail that I'm on. It's like I'm being guided by these orange blazes. And it's kind of like God saying, come hither. Um, so... But the mumbling, um, I've definitely noticed, um, I can't remember where I saw it, but it was in the Apocrypha, <clears throat> where it specifically talks about grumbling and how, or maybe it was a video, but basically it was saying that the more we mumble, the more our blessings are taken away. Like God wants us to, even though it's hard to take it and yes I, I would agree that sometimes it feels like torture and we're going okay why it's like it feels like at sometimes in my own life I'm just being tortured for just no reason it just seems like the Christians are doomed to torture and all this other thing I mean it's, I mean right now it's like I'm battling on all sides and having sickness and people attack me and I mean I've had cars almost run me over and it's getting worse. Um, then you have shortages, and um, I kind of see what's coming uh, with the shortages and potential nuclear war and all the issues. And <clears throat> and internally, I'm not happy. And I've been battling for this for for over two years now, trying to figure out what to do, trying to figure out where to go. And um, and. There's been times when it's like I try to give it to God and try to understand where I am and where I'm going. And that's kind of like the people in the desert for 40 years. They were just meandering around. They were, um, I think we, um, but yes, they just kind of meandered around, but God always took care of them. He always gave them more than enough food and water and heat and nothing wore out. So... And this is like my my case. I mean, I have more than enough water. I have a bed that I can sleep on. I may be attacked all the time, but at least I have a place where I can call home instead of being homeless. And because I don't make a whole lot of money, um, I I didn't take this job to be rich. I took this job to make a difference and found the uh, organization that I'm in is very controlling and can't see outside of their own box and wants to control every nitpicking thing 
Um, Ian College is over it, over the top of it. Toby, don't go after anything. Sorry, my dog is. He's part hound and I get a hold of him sometimes. I've had him charging through here, but, um, but um, we're not supposed to mumble um, in, um, in God when we don't mumble and trust God. And, and I know that's way easier said than done. But some of us are going, are in the thick of it right now. Going, why in the hell am I here? Uh, why do I have to go through this? I know that I've, uh, I've, I've lost it the last couple of weeks. Many times where I've thrown a fit and punched things and hit things and threw things and um, collapsed on runs and just sobbing and then a pile on, on the ground just going, I can't do this anymore. Um, and I don't understand. I mean, I'm in the thick of it now. Um, I don't know where life will lead and what's next, but I have to believe that there's something better. That there's a reason for why I'm going through what I'm going through. And it may be because God's trying to wake you up and, and have you do something that is different than what you're doing. Maybe there's a prompting in your heart that you know that you're supposed to do something and you haven't done it. And so God puts the screws to you or he puts, you know what I'm talking about. He just, uh, he makes your life not fun for a little bit so you will wake up. Um, and in order for you to change direction. Um, but, uh, But yes, this is a gorgeous area. But um, I don't know, the way that we handle the mumbling and grumbling is to just get out, figure out what makes you tick, what makes you happy, and try to go do it. Like this, this, I mean, I've been here a million times. Well, not a million, but a lot. And, um, but it's nice to breathe in fresh air and listen to birds and hear different things. And, um, <clears throat> but yeah, just get out there. And I also work out and run and that type of thing too. But you gotta figure out a way of handling the stresses of life. And it's gonna get worse. We're on the precipice of uh, <clears throat> major issues. Um, and I've been led to believe that we're Babylon. So what you're seeing right now is going to be utterly destroyed. Um, I've heard desertification from several prophets. And uh, it's going to, we're going to be bombed by many nuclear bombs. And <clears throat> I've seen things and wondering if I saw him right or uh, wondering what will happen next but uh, <clears throat> but yes stay the course stay with God and allow him to lead and guide you um, because it's going to get rough um, you won't be able to go to the grocery store in the near future you have to go fishing you have to eat plants and you'll just have to uh, live differently so um, and also try to enjoy family if you can um, and others your wife um, and take care bye